Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Cross video. Wait, what? Monster Hunter Cross? But that's not even out yet. And yes, that's right, but I want to bring you guys some more information. If you haven't heard of or seen anything about Monster Hunter Cross, then I have a breakdown of the trailer on the channel that explains a lot of what's going on. So I'm going to link that in the description box down below. But at the time of making that particular video, some of the stuff was purely speculation or educated guesses. However, more information has recently surfaced thanks to a new issue of Famitsu Magazine, which is basically a Japanese games magazine, and I wanted to use the information in that to explain one of the core concepts in the game, super skills and hunting styles. The number 4 is quite significant this time round, hence the cross, 4 flagship monsters, 4 villages, and of course 4 hunting styles, but what exactly are they? Well if you cast your mind back to the reveal trailer, you should remember the section that showed all 14 weapons from Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, only with some rather elaborate new moves. These scenes feature a combination of super skills and hunting styles. Super skills are new, extremely powerful moves that are available to all 14 weapons, and they can be used in a variety of different ways. Some skills will quite obviously be used to do devastating damage, while others can be used to buff or heal you. Remember that shot where the bow user shot an arrow into the air with this kind of blue glow around him? That's most likely some sort of buff. Not entirely sure what it exactly does just yet, but it's most likely a buff. Alternatively, what about when the insect glaive user stabbed the ground and that sort of green particle effect emanated around the area? That, I imagine, is probably some sort of AoE heal. Now, all weapons can choose from a range of super skills, but only one can be taken into a hunt at any one time. It's unclear yet whether those skills are simply something you select from the menu before you embark, or whether there's something you select on a weapon by weapon basis. Kind of like how you have different sort of bows or bow guns and things like that. Maybe it's something like that so when you craft it they sort of have different skills. Or alternatively maybe as I said it is just something you simply select. But either way however it's decided the point is you have the option to choose. There's a lot of flexibility this time round. Then moving on to hunting styles. These go hand in hand with the new super skills. There are four hunting styles in total. And these apply to all weapons. This isn't four completely unique styles per weapon. This is four base styles that apply to all weapons, so the underlying characteristics will likely be very similar, if not the same. I don't know exactly what they'll be calling these, but for the time being I'm going to refer to these as Aerial, Counter, Ultra and Legacy. The Aerial style focuses on getting you off the ground a lot more. Remember the scene where the light bowgun user jumped in the air and shot all the way down the Raytheon's back? That is an example of the Aerial hunting style. And again, remember, these styles are selected before a hunt, so you can switch things up whenever you please, just not during a quest. And as mentioned, this also applies to all 14 weapons. Then you have the counter style. This is a much more technical style, but the idea is that you turn a potentially dangerous situation into an opportunity. Like how the dual blade user here spins through the Rathalos' fireball, which is normally a very dangerous move, but in this scenario turns that into an opportunity to strike for some serious damage on the head, which is obviously the weakest spot on the Rathalos. Then the Ultra style focuses on making the most out of your super skill. I'm not entirely sure how it works just yet, but the idea is that if you're on a quest and you plan on making good use of your super skill, then you're going to want to use the Ultra style, because it basically ensures that you will be doing maximum damage and some insane damage using that super skill. Then lastly you have the Legacy style, which is the one for the traditional hunters out there that don't necessarily want to be jumping all over the place and they want their core Monster Hunter experience. However, even though this style is a lot more grounded and a lot more what you're used to, the movesets will still receive a range of enhancements to bring them in line with the new styles too. After all, they wouldn't want legacy style to seem like the weaker style now, would they? So in summary, 4 hunting styles, a range of super skills to choose from, and all 14 weapons from Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate that you've come to know and love. Monster Hunter Cross just keeps getting better and better. Either way, that is all I've got for you at the moment, but I will try and keep you guys up to date with snippets of Monster Hunter Cross news as and when it becomes available. In the meantime, if you guys do want to take a look at the Famitsu scans themselves, or find out a bit more, then I'm going to leave a link to Gaijin Hunter's Monster Hunter Cross news video down in the description box down below. He basically went through all the Famitsu pages, translating the Japanese, so there's a lot of great information there, and he gives you a chance to look at some of the villages, some of the monsters, and some other stuff like that. But aside from that, thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.